Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa and this tarot forecast and advice is for Cancers for the month of May 2023. Things you need to expect, things you need to be aware of for the month of May. And I'm gonna give you my tarot forecast using two decks, the standard Rider tarot deck and this beautiful eliminated tarot deck. And what I'm gonna do, I will pull two cards from each deck to give you my forecast to make it as accurate as possible. So let's start with the two cards from the Rider Tarot deck and let's see what you have cancers for the months of May 2023. We have nine ones. That's one. We have Ace of Wands. So we already have two ones. Let's go to the Eliminated Tarot deck and let's see what we have here. Seven of Swords. And the last card. Nine of Pentacles. So you, my dear Cancers, you collected almost all of them except cups. So we have wands, we have swords, we have pentacles. So it's going to be an interesting month with lots of different energies in terms of the action, things you have to do, things you need to collect based on the nine of pentacles. But let's start with the first card with the nine of wands. And when you look at this card, you can see that you're kind of trying to protect yourself. You're ready for the attack. So that's not going to be an easy month when it comes to the things you have to do. So you are after the fight. So potentially you may get into some conflicts and arguments with other people. You feel kind of that you have to defend yourself, that you are ready for whatever is going to happen. So if there is a lot of pressure inside of you and there's also pressure from outside and um, you just need to be ready for whatever is going to happen in the month of May. Don't be afraid of anything. You have all the resources, you have all the skills, you have everything to go and do it. But please pay attention to your physical health. That's not an easy month when it comes to your physical strength and resources you have like physical resources you are after the fight you see it like your head is already with the bandage on it so please be very careful focus on your health if you feel like your body is not working or giving you some signs so please stop and don't risk we don't want to get to the certain level when you cannot move at all but the idea is that yes you will have to defend yourself yes you will have to do the things you don't want to do. So at some point you will feel like you are by yourself, like you are against all other people. And if we look at other cards, there are no people. So the whole month is about you fighting whatever is going on inside of you, your own limitations, your own struggles, your own problems, and also potentially getting into the conflicts and troubles with other people. So please be careful with that, right? And um, yes, just don't be afraid of anything, like stand up for yourself. If you have your point of view, share it with others. Clearly say that's what I think. And uh, just do not resist any changes in your life. This is nine of ones. We're close to 10. We're close to finishing the cycle. So do not be afraid of any changes. And if we actually look at the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Wands, it is about new beginnings. It's about the new stage you will have in the month of May. So do not get attached to the past. So Nine of Wands, the main problem is that, that you are too attached to the past you are against any changes you have to like you have a lot of pressure like you resist to so many things so do not resist if changes come to your life and they will come based on the on the ways of once changes will come new opportunities will come new ideas will come you just need to take them and use them 
and do not get attached to the past. That's going to be your main problem. If you are too attached to some memories, things you did in the past, and you're not moving forward, you're not going to get all these opportunities which are going to be given to you. Like you see, this hand is coming from above. Like go and take it. Go and try it. Like it's kind of a coming from a God or from the heaven, from above, and whatever you believe in universe, though that's going to be given to you. So use it. Use this month for new opportunities, for new stages in your life, generating new ideas, new projects. That's a very good month to start something new. Like let all your past go. Let some people go. Like if you, you've been defending yourself for such a long time, right? And if there are certain people that stop you from moving forward, let those people go. That's very important. So do not resist the changes. Say goodbye to all the past things that happened. Like you can learn from your past, but don't get attached too much. And uh, generate new ideas. If you wanted to start a new business, if you wanted to start a new project, launch a new campaign, also go to mind for new relationships. If you are alone and you don't have a partner, you've been thinking about it for a long time, that's a good month to for starting new relationships, love relationships, meeting new friends, something new. That's a new stage in your life. In May, you're gonna enter a new stage in your life, and it's time to finish something at the same time, right? Based on the nine of ones, you need to let things go, finish something, and start something new. Maybe I don't know. You are graduating or finishing your studies, and like one stage of your life is getting finished, and you are ready for the new one and you are ready you will have everything and all the opportunities just go and use them and if you've been thinking about starting something for a long period of time maybe you've been postponing to start your blog or you've been postponing to start your business the month of may is good for that it's good to express yourself also through the creative forms go and express yourself stop defending yourself Stop being in this position. Time to express yourself and all your ideas, your thoughts, whatever you have inside of you, okay? For the seven of swords, as we can see, you have a lot on your plate. You are trying, like we have seven swords, right? And he's holding only five and we have two on the ground. He doesn't have enough hands to hold all of them. There's not enough space. Maybe you're too busy with lots of other things but you're trying to carry too many things. Like there are too many things on your plate. So it's time to set up your priorities. Clearly understand what do you want? What are your priorities? What are you trying to focus on? And as we see on the Ace of Wands and also on Seven of Swords, new opportunities will be given to you. And Seven of Swords is again also telling us the same idea as the Ace of Wands. <laughs> That you will have some new opportunities given to you. But in order to get these new opportunities, you need to free up some space. Again, like you see how interesting is that all those cards, they are connected. Here, I told you to let go of your past, right? Like stop getting attached to it. And for the seven of swords, again, you need to let things go. You have too many things to think about, maybe too many people to take care, too many projects, too many things you're trying to do. You're trying to be everywhere, but all these three cards are screaming to you that you don't have enough space. It's time to give up something. It's time to set up your priorities and understand what is important to you right now, right? Maybe if we have seven swords, we have seven different projects we want to do uh, social media, we want to sell our products and we want to, I don't know, like get into the new project, maybe get a new partner and also focus on our relationships and also take care of our health and then take care of our finances and this and this and this. It's too much. So you need to pick a couple areas maybe for your focus for the month of May, my dear cancers, because it is a lot and uh, you have all the opportunities. You have like new things will come to your life and maybe like the great things will come to your life if we look on the ace of wands that's something life-changing like new stage in your life but because you don't have enough space there is a high chance of losing all those opportunities so that's why i highly encourage you to free up some space and rethink completely of the things you are doing the things you're doing right now in your life okay this is very important 
completely reanalyze whatever you have, whatever is on your plate, because this is a lot. And again, if you continue like dealing with all of this, you see you already started losing some swords. Like you, you will lose different things. Like some of the areas where you're trying to focus, trying to focus, you will have some problems there. Like maybe like defending yourself, right? Maybe not getting all these opportunities which are going to be given to you. Not, not living to your like potential. That's very important. What I want to say that in, in the months of May, you can figure out the things you need to do in life, but you got to rethink and reanalyze whatever you have on your plate and what are your priorities right now. Maybe you've been focused for a long period of time on your career, but now you want to switch to relationships and you're dedicated to it. Maybe it's going to be your health. Maybe you haven't been paying enough attention to your health and now it's a new stage in your life to start taking care of yourself. So try to think what is your focus for the month of May and what are your priorities. Pick like top three things you want to focus and let other things go. Like it's important not to get attached to people, to the things, the different projects, and not to your past. That's what's gonna like keep you and pull you back from moving forward during the months of May. Nine of Pentacles. What we have here. So there is a potential of like getting all this like harvest. It's harvest kind of a simple idea, the harvest season, like getting all of those results of your work, collecting the results of your work. Nine of Pentacles, Pentacles are related to finances, to money, to all the resources you have. So your hard work, whatever like you are going through, that is we can see you have a lot, but your hard work is gonna pay off. So you will collect some things. Maybe, as I said, maybe you're finishing some projects because I told you to let things go. Maybe you will decide to stop working with one client and client will pay you the final sum for whatever you've done. So you will collect whatever you worked towards for, for a long period of time. So it's a good month for collecting <laughs> all your results of your hard work during the month of May. Meaning that if we are collecting, it's nine, right? And then here's a nine of wands, nine of pentacles. If we are already collecting, it means that we are finishing something. <laughs> we are letting some things go, okay? We are wrapping up some projects because the nine of pentacles, it's about wrapping up something. So if you've been thinking to finish something for a long period of time, or maybe, as I said, I don't know, maybe you're finishing school or your contract is coming to an end for your work. It's time to collect all those resources, whatever you worked for a long period of time and enjoy it, right? But again, the whole month of May, we don't have people here. And also the nine of pentacles, like you're collecting all of those resources, the monetary values things, the physical things because of your hard work. It's not the projects which you did with other people. It's all yours. You earned it. You worked over it. It's not like kind of randomly came to you. No, like you're going to collect the results of your hard work and that you earned whatever you are getting. So that's why do not miss opportunities, right? For the nine of pentacles, there is also in another deck, there's a picture of a small bird. So the bird symbolizing the luck, some opportunities which will be given to you. And if you don't catch the bird, you are not gonna get the nine of pentacles. <laughs> you see how it's all connected here. You see how even like there are four different cards. Like if you look at the first side, like completely different cards. But they're they're connected, like they're so connected, like and it all comes to the opportunities, not losing the opportunities which are gonna be given to you, being more open to whatever life prepared for you. And life prepared many things for you for the month of May, as we can see. Just do not resist. Please do not be afraid of changes. That's your main problem, that you are afraid of changes based on the nine of wands. 
you resist you keep on defending yourself and you don't want to have a change so if you are not ready for the change if you're not gonna make any of those changes you're not gonna get all the success all the results you want to get in the month of May this is just not possible so the key idea for the month of May of my idea cancers is that stop resisting like be more open to something new in your life maybe you've been stuck in this stage for a long period of time like resisting defending yourself um, and protecting yourself from others and trying to figure out lots of different things at the same time now it's time to clean it up wrap up some things organize and clearly know okay this is what i want to do and this month again i told you so many times it's a great month for new opportunities so please do not miss this opportunity this is very important because the ace of wands is an amazing card symbolizing like new stages in your life new projects new people something new but you got to be open towards that if you're not open we're not getting the new stage perfect stage in your life the new new opportunities we're not getting the nine of pentacles we are not getting some new projects which are going to be given to us as well right so that's why it is very important i said so many times let things go like reanalyze everything restructure everything whatever you are doing and enter the new stage of your life in the months of my my dear cancers okay but that was it for you let me know if you have any questions let me know how you feel about the months of may maybe you feel like you are handling lots of things maybe you already experience this pressure that i have a lot and maybe you're lost i don't know what to do i have this and this and this and this and maybe you feel already that it's a lot maybe you feel that something new is coming Maybe you feel like you gotta wrap up something in your life in the months of May. Maybe you're gonna finish your studies. Maybe you're gonna move to a new place. Like wrapping up one stage in your life and starting a new one. Like the months of May is good for that. Okay? So use it if you want something new and if you want some changes in your life. So months of May is good for that. Thank you again. Wishing you a great month of May and see you in my next videos.